With the community school, the goal is to bring students in, help them become a part of the family unit of Film School Africa, give them a base of film knowledge, and help expose them to what's possible. When the students then transition into a college program like FSA College, the goal then is really industry training. I don't want to kill no one live, but we are all in the shot. Sakane Shikwambana. My name means happiness in my language, so I'm a very happy person. Oh no, this is my nervous face. Very nervous. Oh, I'm Zonga. She doesn't let anything come between her and her education. I suppose at the moment I just want to be awesome. who is actually Sutu. I never thought of me, uh, me, I'm like, um, I'm like the joy of this place. I'm like the Mr. Miyake of this film place. I'm like the best thing that has ever happened to the film students. <laughs> was in classes with us at the community level for three years and was really looking for a way to continue his film education. How can I tell people my story? So and then I found out that film was the best for me because I don't have to be on stage. Graduating after three years with a major in pre-production, Sakane Shikwambana. TK is an editor. I forgot the company, I'm sorry about that. Graduating after three years with a major in post-production, Repolo Sitswe Mpiza. <laughs> Rap is working with the other guy, Stefan, uh, on this uh, amazing uh, company called O9. O9 Films, right? Yeah. Graduating after three years with a major in pre production, Sifle James. Now I'm working for a church as a junior videographer and video editor. Working with people from different backgrounds is always the, the, the challenge uh, and yet a blessing because it's a challenge uh, in a way that you don't always understand each other. But once you learn to work together as different people, it's always, you know, the, the best feeling ever because everyone is bringing in their sense of identity, their sense of how they approach stuff and then you actually learn, you know, different approaches from different people and then that makes it like a you know a good thing because you can now even if you go outside your team or outside the workplace you can implement the same approaches that you got from them in order to be able to work with other people from other different backgrounds <laughs> I've been working for Story Ground so it's a film and animation company. You know, sometimes I, I look at my, when I started to where I am now, like I've seen a lot of growth in terms of me as a filmmaker. At the beginning, it was mostly like arranging footage for the editor and also assisting in shoots. But now I have started like shooting and editing my own projects. Okay, let me first tell you how it started. So, um, so during the national lockdown, um, a lot of people lost their jobs in the township and most of them started their own businesses to make a living. So they gave me the equipment like during the lockdown just to play with the equipment and all of that so there's, there's this guy called his name is Mabizela so um so he was washing cars there the other day I was like this would be a great like video just to make just to shoot him and play around with transitions so as I was shooting that 
when I was done, I exported all the footage and then I was looking, I was playing through it. I was like, there's a story here. So I added my own voice in the actual edit that I did. I was like, nah, -uh, this is going to be a good story. So the next day I went back to him and asked like, I would you be interested in talking to like talking more in the video? So I did that and that's how the whole thing started. And then now I've been shooting for other people um, in the township that have opened small businesses, not just in Tulini, but in other townships. It's called Amapanda Asikas. I feel like the community is in me, I am the community, so telling those stories for me is just me talking to a person like it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Okay, and so we're ready for module three, video two. And thanks so much, you can start recording, Troy. I found specific areas that I wanted to work at and saw what the requirements were and send applications through and I chose the one which I'm at right now which is an edtech company up here in observatory and I'm a video producer. We create online short courses for premium universities like Harvard, Oxford, UCT, UChicago, all those kind of places and so when we get assigned a course there's an entire process with, you know, planning the course and then we get to the production phase and then we get into the post-production phase. So right now at the moment, we're in the post-production phase of a rice course I was working on and I'm just editing that one. Could we have a little bit of headroom above her head um, and sort of put her a bit, a bit more to the left? When we hit lockdown, everyone immediately went remote. So we took all the computers from the office and we set up our own mini computer in our rooms. Even with filming, now we work with freelancers and we direct them through Zoom call, uh, which we sort of integrated remotely seamlessly, I would say. But I, I can't wait until everything gets back to normal because I do miss the office space. I do miss the set life. But right now, um, almost 80% of the company is working from home. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2018.